Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're diving into a key network configuration task, how to add additional IP addresses to a Windows Server 2025 network adapter. Of course, there are many situations where you may need your server to respond to multiple IP addresses. For example, you want to host multiple websites, manage services in different subnets, or configure an advanced firewall or routing rules. In these cases, you'll need to assign multiple IP addresses, and you may also need to assign different IP ranges to a single network adapter. Therefore, there's an effective way to achieve this flexibility without adding more hardware. And to add multiple IP addresses to your server, log in as an administrator, then click to open the server manager dashboard, and then click local server on the left. On the right side, you will find the primary network adapter on the server. I have it named Ethernet Zero. Click on it to open the network connections window where you can make any changes or adjustments to the server's network adapter. Then right-click on the active network adapter, usually named Ethernet or Ethernet Zero, and from the menu, select Properties to access the adapter's properties. And from the list of items, select Internet Protocol version 4, TCP, IPv4, and click the Properties button to open the IPv4 settings. Under the General tab, if your server is already using a static IP address, it will appear here. And before adding any other IP address, open the command prompt window to verify the IP address currently running on the server using the IP config command. Executing this command will display the IP addresses on the server. Indeed, the server only has one IP address, which is the one shown. And to add or assign an additional IP address on the same server and the same network host, return to the Internet Protocol version 4 settings and click Advanced Settings button. In the Advanced TCP IP Settings window, under the IP Addresses section, you will see the current IP address on the server. Here, you can click the Add button to enter an additional IP address. Enter and assign the desired IP address and click OK. Click Add and by returning to the IP Addresses section, you will see that the second or additional IP address has been added to this section. In the same way, you can add a third IP address with a completely different range. Thus, you will have three IP addresses on the server and each address will have a different range. Now you have three IP addresses on the server. You can close the network settings. And to verify that the server is now operating with three different addresses, I'll open the command prompt window again and execute the same command, ipconfig, to verify the two static IP addresses on the server. After running the command, you'll now see all the static IP addresses on the server listed under the network adapter. This confirms that the server is successfully configured with multiple IP addresses, even from different IP ranges. This method reduces the need for additional network cards, helps host multiple services by associating distinct IP addresses, and is useful in environments where the server communicates with different subnets. And that's all for today's video. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like and share it. And of course, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.